The nation's aging grid is also threatened by the soaring demands of artificial intelligence. We need a lot more electricity because of AI and data centers. Demand for energy is exploding, in part due to AI. Tech companies are racing to secure power for their data centers. Demand for data centers is growing rapidly. All the big AI companies are saying, OK, we need to build uh, lots of data centers. And these data centers need power a lot of power. Right now, data centers take about two or three percent of the world's power already. And that's, you know, data centers running everything from Google and uh, Apple iCloud and Amazon and all of these things. Um, they're already taking up a pretty respectable portion of the world's energy supply. And that's only predicted to rise. From 2018 to 2022, the power consumption for data centers doubled and then Again, we're looking at it doubling from 2024 to 2028 or 2026. So, you know, that demand side is, is on an exponential pace. The challenge with AI is the fact that it uses very power intensive uh, chips, in particular, the NVIDIA GPUs that are running 90 plus percent of the new generative AI workloads can take, you know, over a kilowatt uh, per chip and you've got billions of these chips out there. And so as the demand for generative AI services increases, the demand, of course, for the chips running those things will increase and the power draw from those chips is just is starting to explode. Between 2017 and 2021, the amount of electricity used by Meta, Amazon, Microsoft and Google more than doubled, according to the Electric Power Research Institute. The supply side is, is much more challenging because the, the utility companies simply just can't bring on power that fast. You know, if you look in uh, Northern Virginia, the data centers there are consuming uh, 3.4 gigawatts. That's the equivalent of about four nuclear power reactors. But with this increased need for electricity, will our current power infrastructure be able to handle it? According to an article published at Yale School of Environment, data centers electricity consumption in 2026 is projected to reach 1,000 terawatts. So, is there any hope for solving AI's insatiable need for electricity? I think all the companies are looking at the energy efficiency question. Because right now, there's still this pressure to drive towards ever more capable large language models, and they're willing to throw pretty much everything uh, plus the kitchen sink at the problem until they feel like they get to a really high level. I think the next logical thing for them to do is say, okay, how can we get the same level of performance with lower power? Companies like Google, Apple, and Microsoft are moving to on-device powered AI. This way, users can run these models locally on their own devices instead of relying on AI in the cloud. However, some experts say that this wouldn't reduce the need for data centers. That's because these on-device AI models still need to be trained and retrained in server farms to stay up to date, even if they can work independently on personal devices. So the net effect on energy demand would be the same or potentially even increase. Instead, some experts think a better way forward is to improve the efficiency and computational capabilities of the actual server farms. If you can increase the payload to transfer only the most appropriate, most impactful data for that compute task, that improves the effective bandwidth that you're achieving to improve your overall efficiency to get more work done per watt. The U.S. government has acknowledged that more investment in the power grid is needed to manage AI's increasing power demands. The U.S. Department of Energy recently announced its action plan, which includes investing in the grid, improving efficiency, and even implementing AI tools to streamline the development of clean energy infrastructure. You know, there's not one magic pill that solves all of this. Um, we got we to gotta take the bits of efficiency where we can and, and spread the risks.